Well, it's it's a different way of looking at it, and I oh. I agree with it. You want to be doing something different. You don't want to put yourself in a situation where you're competing with everyone, like literally competing with everyone because you're doing the exact same thing. It's impossible to basically do something somebody else isn't doing. If you're saying you're doing that, I think you're lying because even though I don't see a lot of people doing what me and Mike do, some somebody somewhere that, that I don't know of and he doesn't know of us exists. Yes. So we yes, are. Nothing... Yes. Yeah. So find a way to like word it and niche yourself so you're not competing with everybody else. So you're in a in a blue um, blue ocean. I think that's what the correct terminology is for the strategy in sales. Basically, where there's food everywhere. Yep. And and I think one of the things that's really important to keep in mind here is that. Even if you are doing something similar to some, somebody else, you, nobody will do it quite the way you do it. And especially in a service-based industry, it's like so much is dependent upon the personality that you bring to, to the, the space that you're in. So um, I, I'm doing a bit of work. I've, I've got a Facebook group for counselling therapists who are in business or aspiring to be in business. And one of the things that I, that I try to talk about and talk to them about or, or at least expose them to is that uh, we all may be counsellors, but we're all different. We will, we, our training, even if our training was identical, we would express that in different ways because of who we are. And it was interesting for me when I went into business because I was terrified about putting myself <laughs> out there. It was like this whole idea of like marketing and being visible. I'd never had to do that. And it was frightening. It was extremely terrifying to sit there and say, I've got to talk about my business and I have to associate myself with the, th with the things that I do. And I didn't know how to do that. And I didn't, I wasn't used to being in the limelight like that at all. But somebody, somebody pointed out, I went and built my, built a website for myself because everybody said you had to have a website. And so I built one and got and sent it out to friends of mine to get some feedback about like, what did they, how, what did they think? And of course, a lot of people are just like, oh, that's lovely. That's wonderful. But I had yeah. somebody that came back and said, your website is great, but there's nothing there about you, mm -hmm. which I had avoided because I didn't want to put photos up there and I didn't really want to talk about myself. It's a, my whole mentality was it's all about the clients. But this person reflected back to me is like, you're in a people business. And people work with people. They don't just work with ideas. <laughs> they work with people in your space. And if they don't know who you, who you are and they have no point of reference of who you are, they are not going to connect. And they're going to just sit there and go, so why would I work with you when I can work with this person that I can actually see and hear and, and all that kind of stuff. So that really challenged me. It didn't make it any less scary to, to do that, but it, it sort of made me realize that okay, we're in a people business and part of the part of what we're doing is building rapport and building relationship with people. And you can't do that from uh, just by sending people messages that says you should do counseling or, or um, yeah, or just talking about the great work that counseling can do. It's like, well, that's lovely. But the person that's actually going, if I need help, who am I going to go to? Not so much, what am I going to do? Five years ago, my business partner asked me, if we're so dang smart, how come we're not helping more people? And I said, well, the problem is we're helping people all over the world with various sorts of charity work, but we're not training businesses how to do better. So five years ago, we started this branch of company to help business, specifically help businesses do better, and make more money. So then you can go out and do more good in the world. That's the reason you want to book this call to find out if what we know and what your business needs intersect and maybe we can help you book the call let's talk it's 30 minutes let's find out